This is the best of the Rocker Morning Show with Meatball and Mark. Chris, you're on with Mark and Meatball. Hey, guys, how are you? Good, man. How you doing? Fantastic. Good. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Magician, illusionist, extraordinaire Chris Angel, we want to thank you for uh, joining us on the Rocker Morning Show today. Well, thanks for having me. This is awesome. So, new series out on the CW, Chris Angel's Magic with the Stars. This is actually kind of a role reversal from what I thought it was going to be. Normally, we see you, you know, freaking out celebrities with your tricks, like when you uh, stole Ice Cube's credit card. That (laughs) always made me laugh. But this is kind of the other way around. You're actually working with the celebrities to do a trick for you, correct? Yeah, I, I basically, you know, I have a show, Mind Freak, uh, at Final Hollywood. I've been doing it here for years. Number one best-selling uh, show in Vegas. And, you know, I fly, levitate, you know, vanish, <laughs> appear, do the craziest thing yeah. on stage nightly. But now I'm teaching celebrities how to do, you know, the most sophisticated um, material, illusions, escapes that you possibly can do in my theater, you know, the same stuff that I do, and I, they have an opportunity to go head-to-head and present it to myself, um, my two cohorts, uh, Lance Burton, Mathematician, Magician, and Emmy Award-winning comedian Lonnie Love, and it's all hosted by Eddie Griffin and 1,500 of our friends There's been a few episodes out already. I see, you know, uh, Lolo Jones, Frankie Muniz, uh, Genuine is going to be on. This Saturday. Yeah, this Saturday's episode. Yeah. Can you name some of the other celebrities that we're going to see throughout this season? Yeah, you're going to see uh, UFC heavyweight champion Randy Couture. Nice. <laughs> um, Frank Mir, you know, heavyweight champion from the UFC as well, competing against each other. Um, you're going to see um, Vernon Davis, Super Bowl winner, uh, incredible football player. Uh, player, yeah. uh, actor, uh, against, you know, a, um, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, Flava Flays, Matt Walsh from Veep and from um, Hangover, wow. competing against Michael Ian Black, two <laughs> funny, funny comedians. Um, you're going to see, um, you know, just a very diverse group of, you said, genuine, yeah. uh, sold like 10 million albums of great R&B artists against Jeff Timmons from 98 Degrees. You have lots of different celebrities from different worlds. Tara Lipinski brought the gold medal wow. home going against Johnny Weir. Oh, wow. All her figure skaters and commentators. So lots of really diverse people, and you're going to see um, how they how they deal with learning magic. You're going to see the process. You're going to see them perform three different categories of magic and how it plays out. That's cool. Did any of them surprise you with either their knowledge of music or did any of them know some tricks to begin with? Um, yeah, some of them um, were really into magic at some point of, of their lives, which is interesting to see. Some of it, some of them took it extremely serious mm-hmm. um, and wanted to get the tricks like weeks before they were going to shoot it. So they wanted to come by, pick up the material, learn it and practice it, which is great. So, you know, Different people uh, had different approaches. Uh, you know, Frankie Muniz going against Lola Jones. You know, Frankie from Malcolm in the Middle uh, was awesome. And Lola Jones, Olympic athlete, you know, you would think that she would have certain strengths versus Frankie. Um, but it was interesting because Frankie had a very big fear of uh, public speaking. Wow. And Lola had a big confident problem with learning something physical, which, you know, she was in the Olympics, you think physical would be easy for her, but it wasn't. Right. Uh, but both of them um, just show the humanity, shows, they show viewers that, you know, they're not invincible, that, you know, you can have something that you have a fear of and you can overcome it. So it's a show that visually is mind-blowing, but it also has a great message and it shows that anything is possible. Very That's cool. cool. Now that this is out, are other celebrities kind of reaching out to you, wanting to be a part of a possible another season? Yeah, um, we have you know, lot, lots of different uh, folks that have expressed uh, you know, interest. Uh, my friend Jonathan Davis from the band Corn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, know, yeah. He loves magic, so we, you know, we were talking. So, you know, just people have reached out, you know, uh, even uh, you know, someone like Mark Anthony, 
uh, who was just at my show a few weeks ago, we talked a little bit about it. So there's all different um, types of people that see it or that come to my show and are like, oh, I would love to learn how to levitate. I'm like, really? Okay, well, you can actually do that. I can make that come. I can make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> with all the different shows that you've had, you know, we see you perform up close stuff with people on the street, obviously some of the celebrities that you've done tricks for. Do you remember like maybe who your first celebrity encounter was as far as like performing a trick for somebody? Wow. Um, one of the, I, I don't remember if it was the first because I performed for a lot of celebrities. Right, I don't right. remember um, who was first, but I remember actually Flav. Flav of Flav, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame recipient. You know, he, he was doing a show called, uh, it was one of those shows that he had like all these ladies living. And, oh, the Flavor, oh, the of, flavor of Love, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and I met him in New York City uh, at the time. Uh, I think it was in the 90s or something, and uh, and he asked me to do something, and I took a fork and I bent it with what apparently appeared to be my mind, <laughs> and he lost his, he lost, lost it. He just, you know, went nuts. And his biggest regret is he didn't keep the damn fork. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> he kept that fork. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he tripped out uh, pretty hard, and, you know, we've been friends ever since. Come to my show, Mind Free, participated on Magic with the Stars, as I said, against Vernon Davis. So, uh, you know, it's it's uh, it, it was very interesting to see how that led to a friendship with him for many, many years. <laughs> Drew, who was it that really inspired you to follow this path in life? And was there illusion that, above all others, really mentally made you say, wow, I want to make people feel this way too? Yeah, I think uh, my, my dad was my biggest inspiration because he always told me when a mind, body, and spirit works together, anything's possible. And I, you know, did some crazy demonstrations uh, in, my, in my life and in my career. And, uh, you know, for me, um, I perform a lot of, you know, material in my show nightly. And then again, that translates to the television series. Right. But the one that, you know, just recently won the greatest illusion of all time uh, was My Levitation, and that was by Vanish Magazine, the largest magic publication. So for me, when I performed that, among my other material, but that one instantly is a standing ovation, and people just sit there with their jaws dropped, because when they watch stuff on television, even on Magic with the Stars, like, that's not possible, that's trick photography, that's BS, you know, right. whatever, whatever. And then they come see it live, and they, they don't have an explanation, they just sit there with their mouth open. And uh, that's such an awesome feeling to see that feeling of wonderment, that childlike quality that we all experience um, come out from adults. Exactly. Being very deep in the magic community as well, have you had an opportunity to visit the magic capital of the world here in uh, our neck of the woods, Colon, Michigan? Uh, I have not. I don't. Wait, 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 what is it? Tell me what it is. So, it, is, it is supposed to be the magic capital of the world, just outside of Kalamazoo here in Colon, Michigan. Oh, you mean just just the town? Yes. Yeah. 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 No, I I don't think I don't think I've been to Michigan obviously multiple times. Right. I don't know if I came to that specific specific magical place, but I'd love to come there and do some magic. Well, it's got a very memorable name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't miss Coal in Michigan. <laughs> And I'll tell you what, there's some excellent yeah. pizza down there as well. So yeah, if you yeah. make the trip, definitely, uh, yeah, they have the magic get-together. They've been doing it for, I think, 86 years, 87 years, I think, consecutively. So I, I, I have not heard of that, but, yeah. but I, I guess there's a joke in the name. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So I, I have one last question for you. I was always curious, you know, we always get to see these polished acts and stuff with you. Has there ever been a time when, like, a trick is going wrong in the middle of it that you've had to recover and save it? Uh, that it still turned out okay? A million times. You know, yeah. I perform thousands of shows in Vegas. I perform nightly. I, I perform last night, perform tonight, performing, you know, pretty much every every night for the next, you know, five years uh, in my contract. So, uh, so yeah, things happen, and, and that's where you get really good at improv, and you have to be really good at improv because the audience doesn't know what to expect. Yeah. So you have the element of surprise on your side. So you basically, you know, you kind of, know how to twist and turn and make lemonade out of lemons. That's what you got to do. I've had the fire alarm go off during my show. <laughs> Yikes. The entire audience had to be let out to the parking lot. So trust me, when you have to recover from something like that, of everybody standing outside in the cold for 30 minutes, years ago this happened to me, and then go back into their seats and then watch the show, that's not an easy thing to recover from. So when you can do that, you can pretty much handle the stuff on stage, you know? Yeah. Or drunk people 
or you know, all that <laughs> nonsense that you deal with. Truly. Well, the show is Magic with the Stars, airing on CW now. Chris Angel, it's been a lot of fun talking to you, man. Thanks for your time today. Thank you, guys. Thank Thanks, you Chris. So Take care. Live weekday mornings from 6 to 10 and on demand in the Rocker app. It's the best of the Rocker Morning Show on 1077 RKR.